So an astrology reading with me really involves looking at all of your life. The beautiful thing about a birth chart is that it gives you a blueprint for your character, for your for the, for, for your the unfoldment of your life. And it's not a fixed picture in that it it, it it's it's not fatalistic, it's not determining necessarily what's going to happen to you. But what it gives you is an idea of the potentials that you have that you can express and some of the challenges that you might meet along the way as well. So, and it, and it, will, it will very, uh, it's very good at showing you patterns, uh, patterns of behavior, patterns uh, that often that you pick up in childhood and it will enable you to look in at your life from a different perspective to understand those patterns and to feel more empowered to make changes in your life. So I really like to focus on a deep understanding of where you're coming from, of what's calling you in your life. One of the questions people often come with, of course, is, you know, what am I meant to be doing? What's my vocation? What's my, you know, where am I going? Often people come at a point in their lives when they're at a crossroads. And astrology is very good at taking a step back and looking at the whole picture and seeing where you are, the, what cycle of life you're within and where, you know, what options are open to you and what's kind of, what's maybe tugging at your soul, what's, what's calling you forward to the, in the next stage of your life. Uh, I mentioned cycles there. Astrology is really a study of cycles. We're very used in our modern Western um, mindset to think in terms of a linear, a life that begins, you have a life and then it ends. It's this kind of, this, this linear time. Astrology steps outside of that linear model and works with cycles. And to understand your life um, as part of a kind of series of interlocking cycles can be incredibly useful and freeing, liberating. Because you realize that everything is actually in a process of change. And so in a way, astrology is teaching us how to be with the changes that happen to us in our lives and how to navigate um, our lives within that context of understanding that everything uh, has a, you know, everything is born, has a sort of culmination and then drops away, decays, dies and is reborn again. Astrology teaches very profoundly that cycle of birth, life, well birth and the fulfillment of life and the, and, the, and, the, um, and, the, and the end of life and the rebirth and of course that can happen within your, within your own life. You have, we have many of these cycles of, of growing and dying and so on. And so in astrology in, in, in one sense is teaching us how to let go when it's time to let go, how to seize the impetus when it's time to seize the impetus. And looking at where the planets are in your own birth chart and where they are currently in the sky um, in terms of what we call transits can help you to see you know, what's, what's moving in your life as well. Because again, it's not a static picture. The birth chart gives you a map of your potential, but the way that the planets move as you, you, know, as you move through your life will activate certain aspects of the birth chart and present certain challenges and opportunities to you along the way.